bus. Let's go share it, Labrador. <laughs> Strange passengers. <laughs> oh my, Sheriff Labrador! I'm gonna play to my heart's content at the Sunshine Resort. <laughs> Officer Doberman, don't get too excited. <laughs> If you continue to move too much, the drink in your hand is going to spill. <laughs> On the special bus to Sunshine Resort, Officer Doberman and Sheriff Labrador were chatting happily. Suddenly, <laughs> Sheriff Labrador noticed two strange passengers sitting in the corner of the bus. <laughs> Officer Doberman, look over there. Oh, dear. Sheriff Labrador, they look very weird. It's summertime now. Those two guys are clearly hot and sweaty, but they're wearing thick wigs and face masks. Uh, even sunglasses? Uh, something isn't right. Don't tell me those two guys. Sheriff Labrador hadn't even finished talking when the two strange guys in the corner suddenly stood up. They took out baseball bats and started swinging them loudly as they laughed evilly. Ha <laughs> I yo trip yo. Hand over your money, honey. I yo trip y'all. You know what I'm talking about. Or we'll ch 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 paddle you. Booyah! <laughs> All the passengers on the bus were terrified. They sat still in their seats, not daring to move. The two robbers burst into arrogant laughter. <laughs> You're scared now? Yahoo! Hey, driver, keep driving! The rest of you, hand over all your money! Otherwise, no one will get off! The passengers started to tremble as they took their money out. Officer Doberman looked at Sheriff Labrador anxiously. Oh, dear! They're robbers? Sheriff Labrador, what should we do? Should we charge them right now and subdue them? No! They have weapons, and the bus is very narrow. If we cause them to panic, they may hurt the other passengers. We must come up with a plan to take them by surprise. Hmm, how can we surprise them? Sheriff Labrador glanced at the drink in Officer Doberman's hand, then watched the robbers waving the baseball hats in their hands. His dark, round eyes suddenly lit up. Oh, I've got an idea. Officer Doberman? Let's do this. Yes, yes! Understood! I yo trip. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing, man? The two robbers suddenly looked towards Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman. Hey, yo! Stop whispering, man, or we won't be so nice! Oh, no! Please don't hit me. I'll give everything I have to you. Mobile phone, wallet, watch, keys. Take them all. And even my soda. Let me open it for you. Officer Doberman pretended to be afraid. He kept shaking the soda in his hand. Then he opened up the can in front of the robbers' faces. Ah! Hey, yo, you sprayed us! The robbers' faces were splashed with the soda. They turned crimson with rage. Stupid! They clenched their Get fists and rushed over to Officer Doberman with bats raised. At that moment, Sheriff Labrador suddenly shouted. Hold on tight, everyone. Driver, emergency brake. Huh? Oh, okay. While the robbers were rushing Officer Doberman, Sheriff Labrador started giving orders. The driver stepped on the brakes suddenly, and the robbers had no time to react. The bus swayed violently as it braked suddenly. The robbers were not holding on to anything, and they lost their balance and crashed to the floor. Their bats fell to the floor, too. Don't move! Police! Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman subdued the robbers as they fell to the floor. They took off the sunglasses and wigs. It turned out they were the Wolfhound Brothers. Oh, yo, yo, bro. My head is swollen, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Me too. I should have held on to the handrail. Oh, I couldn't keep my balance, bro. <laughs> then why are you running? It's very dangerous to stand without holding on to the handrails on the bus. You'll fall when the bus breaks suddenly. I asked Officer Doberman to distract you and then shouted for the driver to apply the emergency brakes. Sure enough, you fell because you weren't holding on to anything. Wolfhound Brothers, 
You were committing robbery on the bus, so you're coming with me to the police station now. <laughs> Mini episode on safety. Woof. Dear, the bus is going to move soon. Why are you still standing here hugging your toy? Find a seat and sit down nicely. No, no! Daddy, you helped Sheriff Labrador catch the robbers! <laughs> You're my hero! I want to stand here and watch you drive! <laughs> Thank you, dear. But you can't do that. You're hugging your toy with both hands, and you're not holding the handrail. The two robbers fell because they didn't hold on to anything. And Daddy is driving right now. It would help if you weren't talking to me, since I'll be distracted. Your dad is right. Sheriff Labrador Safety Talk. Standing on a bus without holding onto a handrail is very dangerous. You may fall when the bus jolts or breaks suddenly. And when the bus drivers are driving, we shouldn't talk to them. It will distract them. Friends, you must remember to hold on to the handrails or straps when the bus is moving. <laughs>